Russell, I've been told that the discovery of alien life outside of Earth, particularly intelligent alien life, would undermine religion, particularly Western monotheistic Judaism, Islam, Christianity, because it would call into entire question our special relationship with a supposed God. What do you think? Hmm. I can't see why. You know, as far, as far as I'm concerned, you know, there there is there are so many planets out there, so many stars, and we now know something like a couple of hundred planets going around other stars other than than our sun. <clears> that there 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 are t there must be teeming teeming numbers of Earth-like planets out there capable of supporting life, and I I, I take it as almost axiomatic that ET is out there, a whole variety of different kinds of ET. Um, and I, I just find a very fascinating um, thought as, as to what their relationship to God is. You know, in fact, when, if, if I were to meet ET, my first question would be, you know, what, what's your take on God? You know? <laughs> and um, it, it does raise an interesting question as to how Jesus relates to them. You know, we look upon Jesus as being our saviour, if, you, if you're a Christian. Um, but then again, one has to bear in mind that the actual belief is that there is the eternal Son of God who took on human form as Jesus for, for us. So it becomes an interesting question as to whether the same eternal Son of God then takes on the form of E.T. to, to act as their saviour. Does E.T. require a saviour? Okay, um, so it raises those sorts of questions. But well, once you go there, the argument would be that I've heard that this sort of uh, has um, Jesus or the God who became incarnate yeah. as Jesus uh, kind of doing planet hopping and uh, spending his time on millions of places just uh, kind of living and dying and going through the same process all, 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 all over again. It, uh, it sort of subjects it to some kind of mocking. So, so some people don't like that. I, I, I myself don't, don't see any objection to it. I, I, I really don't, you know. If we're happy to go <laughs> hopping around to other countries and things like that to sample other you know, cultures, I, I don't see there's any problem there. I, I, I think the more, the more in, in, interesting question, you, know, you mentioned intelligent ET. Now, that raises the question is, is ET more intelligent than us? Um, and if so, does God value them more than us? You know, E.T. might look down on us as being very primitive, just as we look down on apes as, as rather primitive and slugs as even more primitive. Well, you know, perhaps E.T. looks down on us. I'm, I'm not sure whether E.T. is going to be more intelligent than us, and the reason for that is that um, as an evolved animal, um, our, our big survival value lies with our intelligence. We didn't develop sharp claws or a sharp beak or the ability to fly, okay? We, we developed intelligence so that we can augment our rather uh, modest physical attributes in, 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 uh, in other ways. And it becomes rather natural for people to assume that that process of increasing intelligence here on Earth will continue. And that as you go further generations into the future, people get more and more intelligent. I'm not sure that that is the right scenario at all. Because, you see, you, you only get uh, the development of intelligence if it gives you an advantage in terms of reaching an age where you can mate and have children and pass on your more intelligent genes. So the question is... Do the more intelligent people living today have more children than the less intelligent? And the answer almost certainly is no. Yeah. The reason being that the more intelligent you are, the more likely you are to get a better paid job. Not if you're an academic, but you know, <laughs> but generally speaking, okay? And the higher your standard of living, the fewer children you have. More women are in the workforce. Absolutely. So, so what follows? So I would, 
I, I don't have any evidence for this, but I would suspect that as far as intelligence is concerned, the development of intelligence we've now plateaued out or perhaps are even going down, that this is perhaps being disguised by better educational techniques which you know, enable one to do better with the, uh, the intelligence you've got. But as far as basic intelligence is concerned, I see no reason why we humans will in the future get even more intelligence. Okay. So that's one data point. But so that perhaps is also the case for ET, that you get to our level of intelligence and you, know, you don't really ex go further than that. Well, is it conceptual in principle for intelligence to progress beyond the level yeah, of yeah. human intelligence. It certainly is. And and one argument that I can make, which shoots down the previous one I've made, is that, okay, we've actually reached a stage now where, thanks to the Human Genome Project, we are understanding you know, our, our genetic code and how it relates to our various attributes. And if we start to find um, genes which are related to intelligence, it could be possible from now on for us to engineer future sure. generations uh, um, for, for, for intelligence so that we go away from um, uh, evolution by natural selection to directed evolution. Okay, at the present time, there are all sorts of pressures against doing that. It's a you know, brave new world and all that sort of thing. But it doesn't follow that that is going to continue. Sure. It could well be that the, the temptation to engineer the perfect kind of human being uh, uh, will be there, which would then raise the, the, the interesting question that perhaps E.T. doesn't have the same scruples <clears throat> about um, that kind of, of, of mucking around with the, the, the genetic code, and, and perhaps they have developed super intelligences. So then the question becomes, okay, does God pay more attention to them than to us? That's one question. I mean, and another question is, are they more capable with their superior intelligence, and certainly if there are untold numbers throughout the universe, statistically some would almost certainly be inte more intelligent. Mm -hmm. Does that mean they have a better understanding of God? Okay, now that, that, that's... There, a, so there are two separate questions that, that, that are interrelated. Is, that is absolutely a separate question, and, and I was going to come on to that. The fact that a person is highly intelligent doesn't mean to say they're highly spiritual. In fact, you know, one knows of very intelligent people who are spiritual pygmies, and one knows of very, or people who've got low IQ who are deeply religious and, and have a deep spiritual life. So, so there does not, there has, there has to be a certain level of, of intelligence achieved before you start asking questions like, is there anything beyond? Sex, finding food, finding you know, shelter. You know, is there anything, is there a purpose to life? That sort of thing. And that is when the dialogue with, with God opens up. But beyond that point, I, I don't see any one-to-one -one correlation between intelligence and spirituality. If you ask, well, what, what would be a good measure, a good measure of the depths of your spirituality, you know, your devotion to God? Your, I would, well... Christ said, no, greater love can you not have than to lay down your, your life for another, okay? Well, there are people who are prepared to lay down their life for God. Now, how can you do better than that? And, and at our level of intelligence, you've already reached the stage where you're prepared to give up everything, your own life, out of your love for well, God. Well, I, I, I might argue that that's not necessarily a sign of spirituality. Sometimes that, that's a, Sometimes that's a, a, that a can sign be of insanity. Uh, the... the 9-11 suicide bombers, all, all, all the good things about human beings can be easily diverted down horrible, horrible channels. But you know, at its best, you know. I, I think we, we, I would find myself getting in trouble by trying to define what spirituality is. I don't know if a highly spiritual shaman in some, in some primeval forest who spends all their time in, in, in a spirituality is really spiritual. I, I, I don't know, and by, uh, no. uh, yeah, I, I can't make those judgments, uh, but my, my inclination would be not to subscribe to that kind of spirituality. So my question, though, 
to push you. We're saying if there are more intelligent creatures in the universe, or if human beings can engineer their own self-intelligence at a higher level, will those people be able to perceive intellectually uh, through uh, perception of the natural world or perception of, of uh, philosophical matters, be able to perceive God in a, a more real than we're able to. That's right, yeah. Yes, I think, I think the, the, the true measure of, of spirituality is how, how close and how real is, is your relationship with God, with the ultimate. To, and to, and if God there is, is a, the only judge of that. Fair enough, but some people feel, some scientists feel that that maybe the human intellect is not capable of really understanding ultimate questions of the universe. Some philosophers feel that that the human beings can't make uh, good explanations for hard questions like why is there something rather than nothing just because our intellect is inferior oh, oh, but I, I, maybe maybe if 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 we evolve or, the, or or on other planets there are more intelligent creatures maybe they have a can break that barriers that for us seem impenetrable it, yes it's, it is possible i think i think that um I think it's amazing that, that that we have this kind of conversation because how are we relating? We're, we're, we're using our brains, and what are the brains? The brains is is part of our survival kit. It, it has helped us to find food, to find a mate, and to find shelter. That's its function, and yet we're using the same thing to ask these sorts of questions, which got nothing to do with. What, what it was actually set up for. And I, I'm constantly amazed that we managed to get as far as we do.